Hi everyone, welcome back to Michelle Reads and Vlogs. And we have, it's still March, got the March adult book for Fairy Loot. So this one was running a few weeks late. They did let us know that in advance, but it's now here. So let's open it up. We have got the theme of Swan Lake for this one. And there's not much to say about it. It's just an adult fantasy or sci-fi book subscription service. We have got the extra paper we've got the theme card there which i'm sure i will have already shared up in the corner so on the back of that it just tells us a little bit about the artists and things and here we are for the book let's pop that down there oh that is a nice first look at the sprayed edge we've got these gorgeous purple flowers growing from the spine here and this is on the bottom obviously a lot of the times we only get a block sprayed edge on the bottom so that is a nice touch and wow so this is a fully redesigned cover i will pop the uk standard cover edition up so you can see the comparison and we have got a feather so black by lyra celine the colors here are the first thing that have immediately jumped out of me. These greens, did I just say immediately jumped out of me? <laughs> immediately jumped out at me. These greens and purples work together so lovely. So similar to that bottom sprayed edge colours as well. The same flowers coming out here. And what we can see is we've got silver foiling on the name of the book and the author name and on kind of these bits coming from our main character here as well. But the character is this kind of shiny material, whereas the rest of the book is matte black. And these flowers are the same shiny material as the character and this part of the ground here. That is just stunning. What a beautiful redesign on the cover. It wraps around. I love it when the artwork wraps onto the spine there and onto the back as well. So we have got the other female main character on the back with the other, are they swans or geese? Oh, swans, they're swans, of course. <laughs> the whole title is Swan Lake, the whole book, yeah, they're, they're the 12 swans. So I wonder, is there 11 including her? I don't think there is, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Maybe that would have been a nice, touch to make sure there was 12 because I'm sure there's 12 in the book you can see there the two female main characters and on to that sprayed edge wow oh so there's another one of the swans there into the castle in this town and then this gorgeous purple moon 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 at the back they've done the same floral sprayed design on the top i guess they're kind of like stenciled edges aren't they rather than spray i always just call it a sprayed edge yeah the same stencil design there wow you know what? that that is gorgeous they're so pretty i can't really say anything much about it i just think the colors all here spot on i absolutely love it so into our end papers here so we can see we have got, because I'm pretty sure this book has two kind of female main characters and two main male main characters. So you can see the one female main character here and the two males. We've got the castle in the background. Again, very similar colours to the front cover design on the end pages. It's, um, oh, the, ugh, I'm losing all my words. Very similar colours to the paper. Sleeve. <laughs> Losing all my words. Very similar colours to the dust jacket. So that and that. We've got the same artwork there, but stunning. Wow. What an amazing piece of artwork. Did notice that there is reverse jacket artwork. And this is the original book sleeve. I don't think there's even a colourway change there. I can't 100% remember. Obviously, I will have the original one up in the corner so we can see the difference. But it's definitely the original artwork 
whether there's a colour change, I'm not sure. But I like when they do this, that if for some reason you do want the original cover, you can. But why you'd want to turn that around, I've got no idea. I suppose it is, it's still a nice cover, isn't it? I'm not saying that that's bad at all. Like, <laughs> it's just if you're buying a special edition, you're buying it for the special edition. This is our printing on the hardback. Wow, I love it. So we've got this silver foiling. And in the back, you can even see the little printed feathers. It's almost like the feathers are a slightly very grey, purpley colour on. I don't think this is even black. I think it might be navy blue. That is so stunning. And then the swan there. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That is stunning. And onto the back with the feather and the moon and the flowers. It just is so in keeping with the whole story. Amazing. We do have a digital signature in here. We haven't seen a digital signature in a while. We have seen them moving away from this now. We're including a digital signature on the bottom of an author letter. So interesting that it's in here. Maybe that was kind of whilst they were still in kind of their era of digital signatures. Who knows? Bound in author letter with a very little digital signature at the end. And it's typed author letter, which is interesting usually a lot of the author letters are pen written and then obviously copied into the book i don't think that we have any additional bonus chapters or anything in this one i think it is just the standard edition of the book what i've just noticed is it does say the story continues this is definitely going to be more than one whether it's a duology or a trilogy i don't know but book two of the fair folk will be a crown so silver keep reading for a sneak peek so let's have a look at the synopsis for this one and then we are going to talk through on thoughts of this. This is one of the books that I did receive an e-arc for so I have been reading so that is obviously why I knew about the the swans and the number of them and interested to see the number of them on there. So yeah thoughts after having a quick look at our synopsis. In a kingdom where magic has been lost, fear is a rare changeling. She was left behind by the wicked fair folk when they stole the High Queen's daughter, Ela. I don't know if I pronounced that right. When a hidden gate to the world of the fair folk is discovered, fear is tasked by the High Queen to retrieve Ela and break her curse. But she doesn't go alone. With her is Prince Rogan, Ela's betrothed and fear's childhood best friend. As the two journey into a world where magic winds through the roots of the trees and beauty can be a deadly illusion, Fia's mission is complicated by her feelings for the prince and her unexpected attraction to the dark-hearted fey lord holding Ela captive. Irian might be more monster than man, but he seems to understand Fia in a way no one ever has. And then it says here, A Feather So Black is a sizzling fantasy romance set in a world of perilous magic and moonlit forests, spinning a seductive tale of a changeling princess, her cursed sister and the dangerous fey lord she must defeat to save her family. So, as said already, I have been reading this. I am about a fifth of the way through and if you've been hanging around on my channel for a while you will know that I've been reading this for a while obviously it's an arc I should have already done a review for it like two weeks before it came out it's released now and I'm just finding it quite a slow read I feel like the plot is maybe being a little bit over complicated and I'm just struggling to be motivated to read this one, which is such a shame because <laughs> this book is so pretty. Like if I were to see this, I would want to pick it up immediately and start reading it. I just think everything about this artwork is so gorgeous. The idea of the book, obviously I requested it as an e-arc, so I did want to read it. I thought it sounded so good, but it's just not gripping me I'm really struggling I'm literally reading a chapter and putting it down for days and then going back and reading another chapter and 
I am going to try and finish it because I've been given the arc. I will give kind of full details in a monthly wrap up, probably not this month because let's be honest, I'm probably not going to finish it. So yeah, stick around if you want to hear kind of my final thoughts on this. I do think that, oh, I've just realised it's slightly damaged on the top. Oh, that's such a shame. Oh, it's kind of damaged on the bottom as well. Maybe these have been stored in a bit of a funny way for the kind of edges on the hardback to all be slightly worn like that. Interesting. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, I think people who like, who are very into their romanticy will maybe like this. I think people who like very descriptive and poetic descriptions will like this but it was it's just a bit much for me so far it's as I said I'm just not gripped but I can see that some people will be like I can see that some people will probably read this and absolutely fall in love with it so don't let my kind of initial feedback put you off give it a go see what you think for yourself but all I know is that for me it's not quite a hit I'm just struggling to yeah be, have that motivation to pick it up okay so artists it's nearly all done by at after blossom underscore art and i can completely see that with how well all of the artwork gels together it's absolutely amazing so they have done the redesigned cover the not the alternative colorway change on the trade cover but that's good to know because i thought it looked very similar to the original so it must be slightly different somehow but yeah after blossom underscore art did the redesigned cover they did the digitally sprayed edge on all three edges beautiful they did the end papers and again i can just you can see you can see how well that just flows together it's just stunning and then it's the hard cover foiling design that is done by another artist that is done by at blanca design but i think that that does work so well with the rest of it as well i think it just it yeah it really is very cohesive very much kind of blends together and just makes a very beautiful piece of artwork no it does say bonus content here and author letter bound into the book and a digital signature so interesting because i kind of missed that bonus content i was like i don't think we're getting any bonus oh i've just got it it's the sneak peek at the next book isn't it that's got to be the bonus i think yeah i think but you would think that it would say on the front maybe that it is oh no it's not there is a, a whole bonus chapter at the back i'm so sorry that i missed that that is completely my fault so of black feathers and songs and sung if their story had been a song its chorus should have been gone he loved her before he knew it so i think this is from the male's perspective maybe the fae kind of was he a fae lord or a fae king irian yeah i think it's from his perspective so my apologies we did get bonus content so as i said as an addition of this book i'm glad that i've got this one and i think for people who are going to enjoy this book this will be a good addition to have it's just stunning i'm going to keep reading my e-arc and let you know in the future what i think about this so just to let you know what's coming up i do have two more unboxings on this channel because i also have received the locked library for march and the owl crate for february which were both running late as well it's been a weird month for book boxes i also have an ever-growing pile of posts so my next haul it's been a while since i've done an unboxing in a haul i thought it was going to be a small one but because it's been so long it's going to be quite a big haul so that's coming up obviously the end of month wrap up for march that's probably going to be a quick video let's be honest and my anticipated kind of reads that i'd like to read in april so loads going to be coming up over the next week or so don't forget there are so many ways to support my channel if you want to watch more videos from me obviously think about subscribing so that you're notified and you come back like the video that really does support me and the channel so much leave a comment even if it's just to say hello comments are one of my favorite parts of doing this whole booktube thing so make sure you're saying hi maybe leave an emoji if you don't want to say anything i wonder if there's a swan emoji maybe a swan if not a duck that might be close enough or flowers 
the kind of flower aspect that's a huge key part of the story so so many different things that we could leave here oh and fairies loads of themes and feathers i wonder if there's a feather emoji i'm gonna have fun looking at all of those later anyway i'm rambling so leave a comment say hello so i can say hello back and there's one more thing comment like subscribe uh, I always forget this part. I will leave affiliate links to books mentioned in the video description as usual. They are always affiliate, which means that you don't pay any extra, but I make a small commission just off kind of pushing the sale in your direction. So that helps me and the channel out as well if you are thinking of buying any books. Anyway, I hope that you have a lovely rest of the day, wherever you are, whatever you're up to, and I will see you very soon in all of the next videos. Bye!